Okay, now back upstairs we've got the new dash uh, that was originally planned before the whole EFI swap thing came into business. Uh, it just needed a new harness pretty badly and I built the new dash to go along with that. Uh, you'll notice that I did move the glove box over to clear the roll cage, got rid of the AM speaker vent. Um, also in the glove box is the data link connector right back here for the OBD2 system. The ashtray was removed and that is where the fuse panel is for the easy wire harness. Uh, moving on to the other parts of the dash, uh, we've got our bank of switches. Uh, basically starting up here is the headlight switch, rock light switch, wiper washer. This is the throttle cable that originally was equipped on the uh, other side of the dash uh, to basically act as a throttle stop. I moved it over here. This is the heater blower defrost. Uh, over here, of course, the ignition switch. That is the check engine light, the amber light there. Uh, these are the winch controls. Pulling this one enables the winch controls with the green light to let you know it's engaged. Uh, this is a rocker switch to uh, activate the winch itself. Uh, the next switch over here is for the electric cooling fan and this is the uh, basically an unused switch that can be used as an auxiliary for whatever I decide later and a power point for charging up cell phones. This is the top of the twin sticks. These are the ones that were already in the truck uh, when I purchased it. Like I said, I did have to modify them, shorten them a little bit as well and built those nifty little uh, poker chip shifter knobs uh, that basically stacked poker chips that were drilled out and had a metal insert put in them to thread them onto the knob. Here is the center console I built out of an 18 inch Craftsman toolbox. I used camping mugs that I countersunk in there for cup holders. They do hold a 20 ounce bottle which is why I went with those instead of some of the others I found. The art car shifter with the little shift knobs, eight ball swirl eight ball shift knob. Uh, you can see the rock gate for the art car shifter. Uh, inside there you can kind of see the little switch that is used to engage fourth gear and I actually cut the gate to allow the shifter to be moved over and it clips that uh, switch engages fourth gear. This is the torque converter lockup whenever that's going to be used. And I used a door latch there uh, that I modified to make the latch for the console. Pretty, pretty proud of how that turned out. It's a little messy but works really well and gives me additional storage. Also underneath here I've got a storage drawer from one of the vendors. I did have to modify it with a little trough in the top to clear the roll bar, as you can see there, uh, because it was really tight space. And then I have the under seat storage in the back back there as well for the uh, additional storage of trail gear. Uh, this is the fuel cell. It is an RCI 17 gallon. It's 17 inches deep. Uh, I use the Explorer fuel pump that I modified to uh, drop the pump all the way down to the bottom of the tank so that the filter sock sat on the bottom of the tank and would pick up all the fuel. It is a returnless system on this vehicle. All new vinyl lines, metal lines running along the frame. Uh, I used a custom aftermarket fuel level sender that was adjustable. Uh, that I was able to mount to the pump as well, so it's all one unit that you can lift out and, uh, and drop in uh, that uh, will actually work with the factory gauge. And coming around here to finish it out, uh, we do have a SunPro SuperTac 2 and transmission temp gauge uh, that I used to replace the factory, well not the factory, the previous owner had a large five and a half inch gauge uh, with the shift light that I just felt was unneeded. Uh, this one looks quite nice with the truck. I uh, also use the factory gauge cluster 
all the gauges have been checked to make sure they're working properly. Uh, using a, a solid state voltage regulator that's a little bit high, so the gauge is already just a little bit high, uh, but I'll replace that uh, at a later date with a mechanical factory type. Uh, all the needles are painted green to kind of go with the uh, color scheme that we chose there. And uh, other than that, the column was replaced or rebuilt, and I used the smooth column collars so I don't have knob uh, bosses sticking out where there's no knob on it. And that's pretty much it. Uh, it runs so far, does not have drive shaft, so it doesn't drive yet. Uh, that'll come soon. So there is the, uh, the Bronco, and uh, we're going to have a little video attached to this uh, running as well. Thanks.